Pum, ba -da -da -da. I really need to create some intro music. However, until then, today I'm going to tell you that unfortunately, one of my old or one of my former students has just received a speeding fine. Okay, so fortunately for him, in this video, I'm going to explain how he can ask for a warning and hopefully, if he has a good driving record, avoid paying a speeding fine, which can be very expensive in Victoria, Australia. So let me make it very clear, this video is only for good, safe and Victorian Australian drivers only. I also want to make it very clear that speeding is dangerous and wrong. So this video is for migrants, tourists, international students staying and living in Victoria, Australia. All right, to be able to appeal or really ask for a warning instead of paying the fine, you must have a good driving record. Now, what does that mean? It means that you have not had any demerit points added within the past two years. Now, de demerit points are given to us if we commit, if we do bad things on the road. So if we commit driving offences like speeding. Now, if you have a poor driving record, that means you've had six or more demerit points added and you've had five or more infringements in the past three years. Really, this video is for someone who's never had a speeding fine or for someone who hasn't had an infringement in the last two years. Now, if you do have a poor driving record, my advice is pay the fine as quickly as possible and next time, don't speed. All right, so step two, we begin to write an appeal letter. So what do you need? You need to put in your address, the date you're writing the letter, and the address where you're sending the letter. So this is the Traffic Offence Office, and this is the address right here. So you can pause the video if you need to and write that down. Okay. In step number three, we are going to request a review or warning. So here, we're explaining why we are writing this letter. So I, Matt's English, put your name in there. Obviously, that's not my real name, but you would put your real name, your full name, your license, and your purpose for writing the letter that you would like to request that your infringement notice and the number, the obligation number, da, 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 be withdrawn. Or you can say, I would like to request that I be issued with a warning. So, and that I receive an official warning based on my good driving record. It's also a good idea to include your car registration. So I've put a fake registration here and I've put in more numbers so it cannot be confused with anybody's real registration number. So next, admit you were wrong. Speeding is wrong and it's much better if you don't try to lie or pretend that you haven't done anything wrong. So once again, you say, I acknowledge that exceeding the legal speed limit is wrong and I do not deny committing this offence. Now, you may not be sure, but to the best of my knowledge, I have never received a speeding fine. Or if you have, explain when and how many. Now, it's very important that you are extremely polite in this letter because you are asking for a big favour. You are asking for them to let you off with a warning for a serious offence. So I would sincerely appreciate being able to keep my good record as a responsible driver. You can put down the date 
and you can if you want to you can make it clear where the incident happened so where it was that you were driving too fast and make sure that your driver's license is current as well okay now step number five say thank you be polite and respectful so a nice way to say this is I greatly appreciate your consideration of this matter and look forward to receiving your correspondence now if we're writing a formal letter the best way to finish off is with this closing yours sincerely and put your real name here and make sure that it is your full name so the last step is simply to wait for the result of the review and very shortly after you send the letter they will explain that you do not need to pay your fine until you find out the result of your review so I hope this helps and I want to make it very clear once again speeding is a serious issue and kills many people I know from experience because one of my good friends was killed so I understand that it's bad but I also understand that many migrants accidentally go over the speed limit by a very small amount and when you're starting a new life in Australia the speeding fines can be very expensive so I believe that everybody deserves a second chance and I hope this helps some people to save some money and be more careful on the roads. Thank you.